What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with another Your Anthem lore video with a very special announcement towards the end. I've been enjoying chatting with you all in the comments section below over the last month and some of you have shown me some theories and perspectives I would have never thought of before. In light of that, I want to start having more of those discussions. More on that in a little bit, but for now, let's get into it. So, late the other night, I was up typing up another one of my Anthem lore videos when a question popped into my head. Mark Dara was kind enough to answer one of my tweets earlier in the week, however, his answer had left me somewhat puzzled. I had asked if the Sentinels were piloted by freelancers or someone else entirely, to which Mark replied that they were piloted by Lancers. At first, I just thought this was one of his quick replies and that Lancers was just an abbreviated term for freelancers. However, it never hurts to ask, right? Maybe I was just overthinking it. Or maybe there was more to Mark's answer. So later that night, I sent the king of AMAAAs my question if there was a difference between freelancers and lancers in Anthem. Mark replied that the term lancers is broader, while the term freelancer is a subset. So what does this mean for Anthem? Could this mean that there are a wide array of lancer subsets? This isn't the first time Bioware has implemented this sort of subset or delegation system in the past. In Mass Effect, there is a similar system in the Alliance that I will link in the description below. While granted there are only two that are canonical, it would seem that Anthem is lending from this vocational subset idea. For instance, in Mass Effect there are several vocations in the Alliance trademarked with the letter. For instance, if you are in the N subset, you are in the Special Forces subset, with a ranking system from 1 to 7, hence the legendary N7 that Mass Effect is best known for. Another subset in the Alliance is the S subset that is better known for its surveillance operatives with a ranking system from 1 to 5. So it looks like Anthem will be employing a similar system with the Lancers of Fort Tarsus. The question remains that the subsets actually serve a designated purpose much like the N's and the S's in Mass Effect and if they have their own ranking system. For instance, we know the Freelancer's purpose is to be soldiers for hire that are unique from the others due to their capabilities to pilot the Javelins. So you could say that checks off the Guns for Hire subset. Whether there's a ranking system inside, who knows. I think the ranking system is more along the lines of, you survive the longest, hey, props to you. So based on that, could the Sentinel Lancer subset slash purpose fall into a security subset or a potential armed forces subset? Not too terribly sure about the ranking system or how a Lancer becomes a Sentinel, but who knows. With those two out of the way, we can discuss subsets that are more than likely not going to be appearing within the Lancers. We can almost rule out an intelligence gathering subset and a scholarly subset, but why? This is due to us already having intelligence gatherers, aka Cypher, such as Owen, and we already have what I'm assuming assuming to be the scholarly role filled with the Arcanists. I'm willing to bet these groups are their own separate entities from the Lancers, and I don't think the Lancers would have anything equivalent to intelligence gathering or scholarly subsets, but who knows. Personally, I just think it would be repetitive if they did. Hopefully the PAX West panel will shed some light on the Lancers and their subsets. Now for that little surprise I hinted at at the beginning of the video. We've had a pretty amazing first month with this channel. I think the total count of subscribers we have as of editing this video is a little over 600, which is incredible considering we're only a few weeks old. I mentioned in my previous video I wanted to figure out something to do for you all to show my appreciation. So, thanks to a generous donation by one of my subscribers, William O, I decided to create the Your Anthem official Discord server. You can read the full story as to how the server was created, but essentially, it's a huge shout out to William O. This server will allow you to have a direct line of communication to me, and as an added perk, it allows me to get to know you all a little better. As an added bonus, the first 50 of you to join the server will receive a limited time tag to commemorate you as the first supporters of the server. Considering how fast we're growing and how big Anthem will be, I definitely say it'll be a significant badge to wear once the game releases. Anyways, freelancers, what did you all think about the new information, and what other subsets do you think there could be in the Anthem universe? My hope is that we can get a real discussion and some theory crafting going on in the comment section below, and the same goes for the Discord server. Lastly, a very special thanks to Mr. Mark Dara for answering these tweets and more. It's information like this that keeps our mind turning, theorizing, and thrilled until Anthem's release. At any rate, guys, this is William signing off. I hope you all have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the new server. Peace out, everyone.